I am back. And uh, for all you people that was talking trash about my beard, as you can see, it's already growing back. This it's gonna take me about a week. Uh oh, I done passed Kyle House. Uh, yeah, so I've made it back to the CSRA, so you know what that means. Car stuff, um, CSRA stands for Central Savannah River Area. For those who don't know, that's what we refer to as the Augusta Metropolitan Area. Came from a competition in the 1950s on some radio station or something like that. But uh, regardless, I am in the CSRA, which means car stuff is getting accomplished. I am on the way to Kyle's house to drop off the intercooler piping and uh, go ahead and uh, go from, as y'all saw in the last video, I'm going from two inch to three inch. So yeah, we're about to go ahead and start making that happen. I am super excited about that because uh, I really want to see if it makes a humongous difference which I believe it should. Boxes. This is the uh, intercooler pipe. And you know what? I didn't even think about it. Last time I ordered two and a half and got, got two. So we're about to unbox for the first time and see if I got three, because that would absolutely suck. What's up, man? I was just telling the uh, the one for the YouTube about how last time it was supposed to be two and a half and it ended up being uh Ended up being two. So oh, okay. we're about to unbox it and see if it's three is this time. Fingers crossed, y'all. Huh? Oh yeah, 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 man. I'm about to uh like I said, I'm waiting for folks to actually start start placing some orders. Uh I have a, it'll be on this this uh episode. Yes. This is so much better. Mess up that pretty black. Huh? Mess up that pretty black. Oh man, I don't give you know I don't give a damn. <laughs> Me of all people. Yeah. Honestly, if this is your final setup, you can get a powder coat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, now that, like I said, I don't plan on changing the turbo or the, you know what I'm saying, the manifold or anything. So once it's done, so then, right, exactly. So this, this should be it. And I, I messed around, I left the, it's at the, uh, it's at the house, I just got to bring it. But that, uh, the little portion, like I said, it's about this long that has the, uh. It's already welded. It's, uh, no, it's just a little section, literally. Oh, the, the, the flange is already on there, yeah. The flange yeah, for the blow valve. Yeah, weld it into wherever. Yeah. I don't have to weld the cup. No, nah, it's all right. It's, the flange is already there. It's good to go. Well, either. I mean, you'll, you're gonna put two welds in there instead of one. But yeah. But yeah, it's like I said, it's literally just a section. Boom, boom, like that, and it's a little, a little piece of straight. But it should be, it, it should be two, two forty fives, two nineties, two U's, and two little straights. And I got two boxes of that, so. Uh, fingers crossed. Straight. Alright, so 345s, 190, 2 180s, or you could do 490s. Just off those. This is, there's so much math involved. The 180s? Yeah. Might have to, like, maybe tape some out in the middle. I don't, I don't know. Oh, because of how big the, how big the U is ultimately. Oh, and I had to stretch this open. I forgot. Oh, so it's flared out. Yeah, I think I tried to stretch one and stuffed it up, and then I, I heated up, stretched the, the next one. Yeah. Because it's not like a, you can see it bending that way. Yeah, yeah, I see it now. I never really paid attention to it, but yeah, I see it now. It's going in. Uh huh. I had to heat it up and like and flare and pull, it up. flare it out. Yeah. Or I can do a little cut, but yeah, I'm gonna have to. I have to massage the 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 180 a little bit. To, I'm gonna have to cut it in the middle and shrink it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because, you know, look how, look how different it is. Right. It's almost like two inches, three inches off. Yeah. Yeah, it hangs down a, a good deal. So I'll cut it right here and then bring it in. And then if I'm bringing it in here, I might be able to kick it out with the cut. Oh, I'm okay. Gonna, instead of yeah, instead of having to heat it up and bend it, you can actually just... I said put no weld more than I had to. Yeah. So, yeah. All right, so it is day three of me being in Augusta. I got some friends along with me. Y'all remember uh, Mr. Brandon, AKA Primo Racing. We are picking up Honda Lisa Rice to take it on down to uh, Seagrass Hot Rod Heaven. I got uh, the new heart for, for Honda Lisa Rice. We're getting ready to load her up now. Um, it is really, really hot out here. As y'all can see, I'm glistening. It's not even, what time? It's like 11 o'clock, ain't even late. Okay, it's almost twelve o'clock. So yeah, this is that that uh that noon heat, that hot noon that they be talking about in the Western movies when uh, somebody got to die. Ew, 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 wah, wah, wah. Yeah, this, yeah, this is the tumbleweed and the and the ten ten paces in turn. 
You know, I feel like all them Bamas that, that, that managed to stay alive for a long time and develop a reputation, they just like walk about five or six steps and turn around and shot and when nobody question them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, ain't no way in hell you're going to be like, hey, bro, we're going to turn around back to back, walk away 10 steps, and then we're going to see who shoot first. Yeah, I'm lying. All I right, cuz. 246810, bow. I would have one, two, pow. <laughs> one, two, skip a few, 10, bang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna kill you dead. I yeah, dead. I yeah, I'm, I'm kidding you dead. Anyways, yeah, yeah, we get ready to load this bad boy up and uh, take this trip on down to the country. Oh, Kyle, like I said, uh, Kyle has the intercooler piping. The little piece that I have that is uh, it's a adapter, I guess, for the uh, waste. I'll be for the blow off valve. It is stainless and it is not the uh, aluminum like the rest of it. So I'm gonna have to figure something out or just use that via two couplers, which will look ugly, but might just have to do for the time being. Um. I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. I really hadn't decided if I'm gonna try to get them to work something out or what, because I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna save the two inch just to have spare pipe because you're gonna patch up the little hole on there or whatever, whatever. So yeah, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do there yet, but uh, either way, we're gonna make it work. Man, it's hot, golly. So yeah, let me finish uh, getting this car loaded up and uh, we'll see you guys at Brian. All right, so we made it to uh, Brian House. Uh, I didn't show y'all the unloading process because it ain't that deep. Y'all know what it looks like taking a car off a trailer. But anyways, got the Accord unloaded. Old Honda Lisa Rice is uh, sitting down ready to do her thing. Um, got the motor off. Not going to get a chance to do anything. Yesterday was my mother's birthday, so we are getting ready to uh, mainly after heading back to Atlanta to uh, for her birthday dinner. But, um, yeah, I figured I'd give you guys a rundown of what all is going on in here right now. So that is Angel's old motor, which is actually a loaner motor from a friend in Atlanta. So that motor is going back to him. That is Angel's uh, CSS block, which is going to be his rod, piston, CSS. He's getting the head done. So it's going to have uh, cams, all that good stuff. Skunk tube, I'm a pro tube, sooner tube, I don't know, so on and so forth. So he's going to have the, the full kit and caboodle ready to go we're going we're shooting for the moon so you know we're gonna see what happens now that's for that's for this hatch this is a turbo gsr um this is the motor that is going to be cleaned up probably this week i'll be back down here to so you guys can uh i mean so that way i can get some stuff accomplished and uh you'll be able to see some more but this is the motor that's going to get cleaned up and put in the accord of course that that intake manifold means nothing that's trash Got a exhaust manifold means nothing. That's trash. Um, like I said, I had to swap out the accessories. Take the oil pump out of Honda Lisa, clean it up, put it in there. Bada bing, bada boom. Um, this is the block for the wagon. Uh, got the rods and pistons and all that stuff over. Yeah. Um, yeah. So this is all of the the rest of the stuff for the wagon. I don't know why I put the girth, girth most deep under here. But anyway, so all of the wagon stuff is there. That's the wagon's uh, RBC, um, the wagon's crank, so on and so forth. That oil pump is for the wagon. It's a uh, brand new OEM. Guy was getting out, getting rid of his uh, project, put it in. Uh, he was getting rid of his project and he gave up and I bought that from him off the marketplace of all places. Um, Hammers is cleaning uh, Angel's... Uh, the baffle tray for so yep. oh, yeah we, $100 too, man. <laughs> you know. yeah like angel when you see this i need my bread run me my money <laughs> yeah, this, uh, oh you was out there cleaning the trains too yeah uh this is jg wentworth 877 <laughs> i need my cash right now it's my money and i oh, want it now i am going to have to get up under honda lisa and do a whole lot of checking because i never showed y'all so when i blew it up it caught on fire now, you know, people always say stuff like that. I'm like, yeah, my car caught on fire. You think like a little small engine, you know, a little, a couple of flames up under the hood or whatever. But no, it really, 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 really caught on fire. So let's see if I can like, yeah, y'all see that? All oh, this was burnt because I had like a seven foot trail of flames behind me. So I got uh, 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 so on and so forth. So a um, little bit right there. So yeah, I got I got a lot of checking to do up under the car and see to make sure that everything is squared away. But uh, I definitely had my handy dandy fire extinguisher. It's funny, well I can laugh at it now because I didn't die, but um, <laughs> definitely 
when it happened, I literally reached and grabbed the fire extinguisher. I couldn't hit the brakes. You know, your car cut off, your, you know, your, your brakes are no longer function probably without vacuum. Uh, literally slamming the mess out of the brakes. It's only doing so much. Big old fireball. I grabbed the fire extinguisher, laughing hysterically. I'm like, well, guess this is how I die, guys. It's been real. But fortunately, the good Lord above had other plans. So I am still here. So anyways, that'll do it for today. Unless I'm lying and Kyle is home working on the intercooler pipe and then you'll see some of that. But in the event that he's not, you know the business, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Turn on the notification, hit that bell. So that way you know when the great garage is dropping some amazing content. Other than that, do what you do best. Stay whatever you are, fight the power, and I will holler at you next time. Like an elevator headed to the pit. Feeling Superman, call me Jabba Kent. Got me bent. If you thinking you can overthrow my squad. Oh my God, no face shaking when you...